Hey guys, gonna try and make a quick how to video um, how to do the zip tie antenna mod. So, this is what you're gonna need. This is what it's gonna look like when you're finished. But here's what you're gonna need zip ties. Um, you're gonna want long, uh, big ones, thicker ones, not like your tiny ones. You're gonna need thick ones so it can hold the weight of the antenna. Um, pair of pliers to uh, tug the zip zip tie tight and also um, for the heat shrink so piece of heat shrink and uh, scissors or you can use these to cut if you have a little cutting part and heat gun or just use a lighter I use a lighter for a very long time it works fine uh, but the heat gun, heat gun definitely works better if you want to invest in one anyways um, I'll start with the how to remove it since I found a way that was easier because I used to take forever for, to remove it but the easiest way to remove the heat shrink is to slip the scissors in here make sure you're not cutting the antenna inside you can cut one side over there cut one side over here and then separate the two halves like so and then you're just going to want to pull each half apart. And hopefully, it will go all the way down. And there we go. Zip ties removed, or heat shrinks removed. And okay, let me go ahead and cut the zip tie off and I'll be back. Okay, so zip ties removed. What you want to do is, if you have a slide like this, use it. Sometimes you have a hole somewhere. And you use that to wrap the zip tie around. You're going to try and make sure that the zip tie is pointing away from your helicopter when you uh, loop it through. And uh, also, oh, see I'm doing it backwards. Um, and also so that the block right here, the little locking mechanism for the zip tie is uh, hanging more towards the outside of your helicopter because some helicopters are real thin and... Um, it will rub up against the battery. So, like that. Gonna wanna pull it tight. Sorry if this is out of focus a little bit, guys. Reposition, reposition. Get it tight. Like I said, take my pliers. Give it, give it a tug. Let's make sure it's really tight. You don't want it moving around. Okay. Then what you're gonna want to do is take your antenna. Let me snip off a little extra here. Take your antenna. Mine had a little extra wire, so I just wrapped it around like this. You're gonna want to measure where the top is and then go ahead and cut the zip tie again to what should be the length that it's going to stay at so it's the same length as the antenna uh, I see a lot of people leave the tip of the antenna out past the zip tie um, that's really not necessary since the zip tie doesn't block any signal or anything so it's better to have it more protected and uh, heat shrink the entire length of the antenna. Sorry if it's hard to see, guys. Um, so what you're going to want to do next is slip the heat shrink over here. If you have a little smaller uh, piece of heat shrink and you need to open it up a little bit, you can go ahead and take some pliers or something similar like this and stretch it. It will, uh, sorry about that, it will stretch a little ways. Um, I don't really need to because this is a big enough diameter heat shrink. But anyway, just going to want to slip it over here. Put these two together. Slip it over the top. Uh, push the antenna up in there. Make sure it's up high enough. Okay, looks good. And uh, that's that. Then what you're going to want to do is get your heat gun 
or your lighter if you need to. Just go ahead and uh, shrink it down. Make sure you get all the way around, get all the sides, make sure it's nice and tight up against the wire. Okay, and that's that. And then you can give it a little bend towards the outside. If your zip ties are loose enough, you can actually rotate it a little bit like that um, to give it a, a wider stance um, like that. So you have more of the, the V. But this is a strong mod. It's not, you don't have to worry about falling down into the propeller. It's, I mean, that would be crazy if it ever made it down there. Um, but it is flexible enough to bend down to the frame if need be for storage and you're not pulling any wires or anything you're not stressing anything and then you know pop it back out give it a little bend over here and you're good to go so anyways I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope uh, it was clear and in focus enough for you guys to see what to do but uh, thanks for watching see you next time